keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make a diamond perimeter threat build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video, okay? So, first and foremost, doesn't matter if you're left or right handed, I just like left handed because I'm left handed IRL. Uh, we are gonna go 6 6 with this. Uh, 205 pounds, 611 wingspan. Your weight and wingspan doesn't really matter, um, as long as you just have a 90 on your um, mid range. So I guess seven foot two is what you can go up to. All right, if you want to go up to seven foot two, ball means perfectly fine. It's not going to be much of an issue there. Um, same thing for the weight. Theoretically, you could drop your weight all the way down until you get to a 63 strength. But um, I like to keep my weight up because I just like the different. I don't want to have the very small body type, right? Um, and I dang sure don't want to be going to the game facility, all right? Um, so anyway, so we're going to go to our, our speed. We're going to go 81 on the speed just so we can get our speed booster and our hyperdrive on silver. That's very important there. Then we're going to go 75 on the acceleration. This is going to be able to give us our triple strike on gold along with our blow bias on silver. Um, so pretty much standard that we go right here. And then our strength, we are going to go 63 on the strength, all right? Um, that's gonna give us fearless finisher on silver and physical handles on silver. So I've been trying to add physical handles as much as I can to um, my builds because I just start to realize like, yo, like physical handles actually is pretty straight. Like I'm not gonna lie, especially for these smaller ones, right? We're going 60 on that vert just so we can get the chase down animation. And then of course we're maxing out our stamina to 99. Um, so pretty much, you know, this is how it really is, man. Like most, most of these six, 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 seven, six, eights are gonna be around this unless you're going with a higher ball handle and then you, of course you'll have the 86 and then maybe the 83 here but for the most part that's pretty standard um then for our driving layup we are going to go 80 on our driving layup um i you can't go 85 if you want to get devin booker you can't do that because it will change the name um but 80 is still gonna be good enough you still get jimmy butler you still get russell westbrook i um, mean obviously you know you get the pro touch on hall of fame we've been watching enough of these videos to understand that that is the route you want to go is really good um then we go 65 on our driving dunk um the reason why we're going 65 on the driving dunk for obvious reasons we want to make sure we get like some basic dunk animations 65 is like again the bottom tier of the dunk packages that's when you start getting decent dunk dunk packages so you want to be able to get that um and then of course standing dunk we're going to go 46 because i did have one attribute left over but of course it's really for just getting 45 40 and 45 will give you the the basic um standing dunk animations and as usual we know standing dunks are really good this year so it makes sense to just have that equip um unless you it, it, listen only time you shouldn't have standing dunk equip is if you just don't have no driving dunk if you have no driving dunk no standing dunk and you're strictly a layup that's perfectly fine um some people said that you gotta have um, a certain amount of driving dunk to even get standing dunk to activate i don't know i never really made a build that had a driving layup and just standing dunk but um i don't know maybe i can let me know in the comment section if that's true or not that you got to actually have a driving dunk to get the standing dunk so basically what i'm saying is that if i was to go this and have like if i was to go 45 standing with no driving dunk people are saying that you can't get like when in gameplay you won't get actual standing dunk animations so i don't know if that's true or not but y'all let me know in the comment section if that's true um, but then on the mid range, we're going 90 on that mid range. Um, really, is because we want to make sure we can get that dead eye on gold. And for the most part, you'll get a really good jump shot base. Obviously, you get Tracy McGrady with this. With this, um, but you get blinders on gold, dead eye on gold, catch and shoot, green machine, space crater, all on gold. And then you'll get comeback kid, Hall of Fame. Don't sleep on comeback kid. If, if you play random wreck, this is a good badge. <laughs> um guard up on gold mini magician on gold and an open looks on hall of fame with whistle on silver then of course we're gonna go 80 oops never i see there we go so now i'm tripping so we gotta go at least seven feet because i want to go 86 on my um three ball so so my bad go seven feet on the wingspan so 86 will give you the agent threes on silver and of course you'll get your limitless on bronze so this is gonna be really good um right here um you know you're gonna be the shoot lights out period like it's not even gonna be close 85 on the free throw for all my rec players um i was trying to get the 90 but i couldn't but at the end of the day you're going to be able to shoot with this 
really really good free throws three-point shot midi you get the best jump shot bases on the game so at the end of the day you should be able to be cooking with grease repeatedly with this um pass accuracy we're going all the way up to 91 on the pass accuracy um by having this 91 pass accuracy obviously you do get bailed out on silver and um you're going to see a massive difference if you haven't had any type of build that has a 91 pass accuracy or higher you're going to see a big difference when you're running the court passing the ball or whatever you do like it's just it zips a lot faster and then of course the bell out on silver is just way much smoother than bronze so it's a really good benefit it's something different you get dimer and of course needle threader needle threader on gold is just very very good so people try to play the paint and play the elbow or play the paint and play the corner they're gonna get stunned a lot if you're at the top of the key dotting in the corner so keep that in mind um and then our ball handle we're going 85 on the ball handle and this is just so we can be able to get those elite dribble animations remember at, once you're over six five you know like there's no need to be trying to go eating higher unless you're trying to get like you know killer combos handles for days all this extra stuff but for the most part like you know i've been man mo most of us been rocking a six eight for so long like i'm cool and comfortable with an 85 but what i will do though is go 80 on the speed with ball just to get the devin booker dribble style even though i do feel like pro dribble animation is still the best um, I'll go pro dribble animations, then I'll go, well, outside of Kyrie and all the smaller guards. We're talking about bigger guards, right? But, you know, um, pro dribble style to me is still the best. Uh, then it will be Devin Booker, and then it will be LeBron James. Um, and believe it or not, Michael Jordan is not as strong as, as a lot of people hype it up to be, to be a starter three. I'm never going to be a starter three. I don't, I don't, I just don't, I, I, I don't play that much to be um, getting started three. But regardless, I feel like those are the ones that are good. So Devin Booker is still good enough to consider. So I always, now I've been making sure to get that. You also get triple strike on gold. Um, so pretty much really, really decent here. Now I added defense on this one, okay? So I went 88 on my perimeter defense. That's gonna give you the 94 feet on gold, challenger, workhorse, and off ball pass on gold. So that's strong. Silver clamps, ankle braces, fast feet, and pick dodger. And then I also went 60 on the steal. For obvious reasons to get the interceptor and you know it's a, it's a, this is the animation badge so you will not get the interceptor animation unless you actually have a 60 then i went 68 on the block right going 68 on the block and again this was for to be able to get a chase down animation some people might think that's a little op i mean a little too much on this on a build like this but again it's just something different a lot of people don't have chase down or ability to get passing lane steals on their guards most of them don't have no defense or you know like they have like perimeter defense and a little bit of still no block there's no right or wrong answer i don't want to cookie cut nobody you can pick either option you want um and it, you can even go drop your standing dunk and your driving layup um i think you can go up to maybe 84 here um and you don't have to have like driving dunk standing dunk and i'm like i said i don't want to cookie cut you you can make this any way you want i just want to give you the template and then you can make the adjustments as you go and see fit maybe you don't want this much defense you can drop this down you don't want that much of a free throw you want a higher free throw bring it up i think your ball handle you can get to maybe like an 87 if on your ball handle if you wanted to so there's a lot of things you can consider but at the end of the day this is a really strong um, build that a lot of people you just don't see out there with the diamond perimeter threat name um i think it's actually pretty dope but y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this build and other than that is your favorite old head uncle jimmy i'll be back really really soon with the banger man you know when i say back soon with the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about the mar man i'm out